What's going on everyone? My name is Mandeep. Welcome back to another episode. Today we are in the very desirable Ocean Park in South Surrey. This home features four bedrooms, six bathrooms, and spans more than 4,325 square feet of interior living space. And the home sits on a massive 10,625 square foot lot. The home is listed for 2.689 million. A very special thank you to Harry Shaw of Remax City Realty for letting us tour his amazing listing. If you are thinking about selling or buying a home in this area, make sure you get in touch with Harry. I'll put all of his contact information in the description below. So before we tour the inside of this amazing home, let's go check out the outside. So the first thing that you notice when you pull up to this home is the amazing uh, neighborhood that we're in. It's unbelievably quiet. So we got some beautiful landscaping on this side and on this side of the house. There's a pathway that takes you to the back of the home this way. And over on the front of the house, um, one thing that you'll notice is that it's an L style plan. And the reason that I like these styles of plans is because uh, you're taking the garage out of the home and it's over here which allows you to make an unbelievably awesome plan on the inside and it's very functional as well. So I'm walking on these uh, pavers on the ground and over here we got stucco on the front, we got natural stone, a nice big entrance door right there and look at the, uh, look at the amazing details that we have up here. That is going to be an awesome place to check out upstairs. We got some windows, black windows and these are casement windows as well and uh, look at the details right here just arched right above and this is not fascia so you know they spent a lot of money on this right here this is uh, some sort of material i'm not sure exactly what that is so we got landscaping on the front over here as well and now let's go check out the inside of this amazing home welcome to the inside of this amazing home the main floor is more than 2,200 square feet, so it's gonna be an awesome tour. This house feels like it continues on forever. On this side, we have the formal living area. Obviously, the first thing that you notice is this fireplace right here. I haven't seen one of these fireplaces in any of the homes that we've ever toured. Um, as you can see, normally what we see is a horizontal uh, fireplace, but this one is whatever shape that is. I, I think it's a little bit of a rectangle, but it's a gas fireplace given on a ton of heat right here excellent choice of the tiles on both sides and then they got the mosaic tile in the middle going from floor to ceiling this is an awesome area right here we got engineered hardwood on the ground excellent staging crown molding up above with pot lights right and over down this way we have the foyer right here and you can see that it's uh high ceilings up above a light fixture right in the middle and down this way we have the dining room so very simple waist high molding a little bit of a different color up here um, you got seating for probably eight or ten people in here um, a very brilliant choice of the light fixture right here which is black and gold and we got speakers throughout the entire house as well and uh, crown molding and a drop ceiling here as well and and you know one of the keys to staging is that you complement the house but you always add a little bit of a green element into the house i think that's excellent right here so follow me, we're in the uh, service pantry right here. And what they've done is they've they installed a bar fridge right here. And up above, we got some spot. We got a place to uh, display all of your wine bottles right here. That's pretty cool the way they did it. We got pot lights in the cabinets, which illuminate this area. And uh, the countertop has also been used as the backsplash on all three sides over here. Same thing on this side. Except on this side, you don't have a wine display. You could uh, display your fine china or plates. And then we got very, very unique cabinets. We haven't seen square cabinets like that. And then uh, very uh, distinct cabinetry hardware as well. And once again, up here, we got some cabinetry here with the pot light inside. So just more area to display whatever you would want up there. Okay, so down here, we got the laundry down that way. We got the spice kitchen behind me over on this side. And down this way, we have the living room. So let's continue forward into this house. Stairs right here, taking you upstairs. And over here, we got the, I would call this the great room slash living room. This is where you hang out with your family. You just relax. We got a nice big fireplace. This is a gas fireplace. The fireplace surround is massive. Check out how big this thing is. And then over here, we got some nice art displayed above the fireplace. This just feels so homey. You just want to hang out right here. We got a nice big L couch right here. And we got these huge casement windows which face your backyard. 
and allow a ton of light to come into this area. So right behind you, Zach, is I would call this the study. And uh, I guess you could put up some books if you like to read. Um, you could put your computer here, your phone, whatever you would want. This is an awesome area. You don't normally see this. What you see is floating shelves or cabinetry on both sides of the fireplace. But I just, I think they did an excellent job here. And of course you gotta have the um, slow stop and the counter here is actually, I don't, it's wood. I don't know what it's actually called, but I think that's really cool. Cause normally what a builder would do in this situation would just be put quartz or granite or something like that. So down this way, we have this gigantic kitchen and there's so many different things to talk about. And let's start with the island. So we got beautiful light fixtures hanging above this massive island, the island which has the sink right inside of it. And um, you'll notice that the cabinet or the island here has a different color than the cabinets over here. And I, did, I haven't seen this color before. I, I love this color. I think it goes really well with this kitchen. It actually complements the wood on the ground very well as well. And over on this side, hidden behind these cabinet doors is your freezer and your fridge right here. And this is Thermador Appliances. Thermador, a lot of people haven't heard of, but it's a super high-end um, company as well. Right up there with Sub-Zero and uh, Melee as well. And then we got a nice pantry right here. And down here, Zach, actually, if you can zoom in right here, we got some cool open shelves right here. You could place whatever you would want, like you got some pictures, candles and stuff like that. So they got the overhang on this side, so you just pull up a bar stool and then you just sit on that right there. And yeah, I think they did an excellent job in this kitchen. On this side, we have a nice big kitchen, or sorry, a sink with the reveal right in the front. And I don't know if Zach is gonna be able to capture this on film or not, but this is granite, it's not polished. There's actually a really cool texture to this. It's really cool. So over here we have a six burner Thermador gas stove. This is huge. And we got the griddle right here. We got a pot filler right above it. And then a massive uh, hood fan as well to suck up all that air into there. Over on this side, we got I haven't seen this before, but that's pretty cool. I guess you could put your bread and your chips and snacks and stuff like that in there and then just kind of conceal it just like that by pulling I it down. I that was a bread or a pot. Yeah, a pot filler. Yeah, so basically you got your pot. It's super hot. You don't want to pick it up. You just take this, you turn on the water. I don't want to turn it on right now. And then there you go. And then over here, we got a built-in um, microwave right into here. And once again, I just want to bring your attention to these uh, cabinets right here. Like we haven't seen cabinets like that. Usually they're horizontal or something like that, but uh, they're beautiful. And over here, you gotta have the slow stop in cabinets. Okay, so now follow me down into this area. This area would be considered your um, nook or your breakfast nook, whatever you would wanna call it. Surrounded by fireplaces, or sorry, surrounded by uh, your windows and the fireplace out there. Um, that's an awesome area, we'll check that out in a second. A light fixture hanging above your circular table. I think a circular table for this kind of area is perfect because you're just gonna have your immediate family hanging out in this area when they're having their breakfast or your lunch or dinner or whatever it may be. And down this way, yeah, let's check this out first. So down this way, we got one of the two powder rooms. And over here, we got uh, just a toilet, a total toilet, your vanity, and the same cabinetry color that we saw in the, in the kitchen on the island. Um, excellent job over here. And over here we got a bar. I believe that this room would be used as your uh, home theater system or your home theater room or something like that. So you got the floating shelves, you got the light in the uh, floating shelves as well. You got another bar fridge over here and bar fridges are not cheap. Just to let you guys know, that's probably about 1500 bucks to about $2,000, somewhere in that price range. If I personally live here, I would shut this barn door just like that, right? So now you got some privacy right here. I would put some shades up right here, close it down, put my TV on that side, have a couch over here, and then just watch TV easier. And another cool thing about this area, if you don't want to do that, is that you can just turn this into an indoor outdoor area if you wanted, pop these doors open just like that. And there you go. Now you've got an area where you can hang out outside 
or you could come into this area over here, whatever you would want to do. And this is a pretty private backyard, right? You got some landscaping in the back, back over here. Those trees are going to probably grow a little bit higher as well. So they're going to create a little bit more privacy for you as well. Just overall an awesome area. Okay, so now let's go check out the, uh, I believe it's the laundry or the spice kitchen. Yeah, so Spice Kitchen is right here, and this is the door that separates that area from this area, and that is a very heavy door. So, okay, so we got a whole bunch of stuff going on in here as well. It, we got the fridge right here, and we got a different countertop than what we saw in that room. Once again, beautiful countertop, looks amazing. We got the sink, we got a casement window hanging up above, or sorry, just right on that side. And then over here, we got another gas uh, stove, which is a five burner. And we got the subway tiles right here and the, and the brick pattern is actually the lay, the way they've laid it is a brick pattern. And I always do it that way as well whenever I build my houses. I think that's awesome. And then right beside Zach, we got some floating shelves. And this is where you would place all your food, like your cans, soup cans and bread and all that kind of stuff. All right, so we're still on the main floor and it continues. So this is the second powder on this main floor. And just look at how beautiful this is. This is very, uh, adds a lot of character, the character to the home. You got an awesome uh, countertop right here. We got the mirror right up above, a light fixture, the toilet. And the coolest thing about this room is the tile, right? That looks amazing. Okay, let's continue on forward down this way. So we got another entrance into the house, which is on this side. And it just pops up open. Give me one sec just like that and then you have a nice little area here whatever you would want to do you can do in that area and I like that it's frosted so you can't see into the home perfect so down this way we have a gigantic laundry room okay so we got subway tiles on the back wall we got a huge casement window a sink side-by-side -side machines and then a whole ton of area to store whatever you would want Right, we got cabinetry here, here, down here as well. I like the choice of the uh, handles on this and over here as well. So you just stick your hand in just like this. And boom, you're done. Just like that. Okay, nice little area over here to hang out, right? This is where you come in through your garage on that side. You just take off your shoes, you put them right down here and you're good to go. So the house continues, so follow me down this way. This is a room before the mud room. Like you can tell how big this floor plan is. Behind this door is the garage. And then we have another door going out this way, right behind this, going on to the side of the home. Once again, frosted glass so you can't see into the house. And then just a ton of area to store whatever you would want. So you got a closet on this side and you got a closet on this side as well. Okay, so behind this door is a garage. And one of the things that I wanna point out is look at the ground over here. So we see a lot of high-end homes. And normally what we see is when a builder wants to finish off this area, what they do is they paint it with epoxy paint. What they've done here is this is epoxy stone. So these are small pebbles and it looks amazing. They did an awesome job here. And over here we got high-end stairs. Normally what we would see is like wood or something like that. So kudos to the builder. You guys did an awesome job. Let's go back into the home. And now we're gonna go and check out the top floor. So follow me. So I'm walking in the stairwell. This is the same engineered hardwood. And over here, we actually have some sensor lights. When you push them, they turn out another day. I'm assuming that they light up at nighttime on their own. A nice vertical window right here, which allows a little bit of light to come in. We got a light fixture hanging right up here. And this house really reminds me of all the tours that I've seen of homes in like the Hamptons or something like that. Uh, very classical style of home. And this is pretty sweet. Uh, you walk up into your study right here. We actually didn't have an office on the main floor, but uh, if you wanted to have an office, this is the perfect spot. They got built-in cabinets on both sides. You would have your computer chair right here, the computer uh, monitor right over here. And then we got some built-ins up above for some extra storage. You could hold your files, books, whatever you would like. Same thing on this side as well more storage and then of course you got to have the slow stop open shelving over here and these are the two windows that we saw from the front of the house frosted glass allows some light to come into this area 
All right, so now let's go down this way. So we got a two casement windows on the front of the uh, front of over here, facing the front of the house actually. And then I like the design in the windows over here. And uh, nice, good sized room. You can hang up your TV on that side. And this is a cool detail right here. The furnace cover, the vent, is actually made out of the hardwood. It's pretty sweet. So follow me down this way. This is definitely something that's very creative and unique. We don't see steps like this on the top floor. So that's the master bedroom. Behind these doors, we have two linen closets. These are huge closets. And look how high the ceilings are over here. That's awesome. So this light fixture right here, which is hanging above that design, or sorry, below that design, and above that design, we actually have a skylight way up there and allows so much light to come into this area. This is very creative, and they did an excellent job in this area. So follow me down this way. This is another huge room, casement windows, overlooking your backyard over here. Uh, very nice carpet on the floor. We got a closet over here, very standard. You got a ton of room to hang up all your clothes. You got open shelves in here as well. And on the ceiling, we have a light fixture in the middle of the room, and we got a drop ceiling all around with the puck lights in it. So in this room, we actually have the washroom for the person that would be in this room. And we got the Toto toilet, a nice big vanity over here, uh, the mirror, and then of course you gotta have the shower. So in the shower, what I like the most about this is that it's a frameless 10 millimeter glass shower. And I just like the choice of the mosaic tiles on the ground. I think, I think they did an excellent job. So now let's go check out the rest of the top floor. I think there's one more washroom and bedroom that I wanna show you guys. Just once again, very classical style of house. So much character in this home, we got black, um, hardware on the doors which match your black light here so in this room we got a nice good sized room this is facing the front of the property and my favorite thing about this room is definitely this washroom which has these black tiles on the floor and black tiles in the shower as well I'm gonna just jump into here we got the subway tiles which are laid in a brick pattern we got a niche right at the front. This is where you put your shampoo and all that kind of stuff. And then we got a shower head right here. Um, and then over here we have, I think this is a different color than the kitchen cabinets, but it complements the tile and the tile complements the uh, cabinets really well. And an excellent choice of the countertop. This is different than what we saw in the rest of the house. Um, overall, just an excellent job in this, um, in this bedroom and washroom. Behind this door, we have another closet and this is pretty big as you can see i'm walking pretty deep into here and just a ton of area to put up all your clothes so i'm now going to show you guys the master bedroom and i'm very excited to show you guys because it's been staged really well and the design in the entire room is awesome as well so I'm walking up those stairs into this area you got double doors that pop open to allow you into this massive master bedroom on the back wall, we got wall molding and in the middle of the wall molding, a different color than the rest of the home to give you a little bit of a more dramatic look. We got a nice big king bed over here. And then on this side, we have your private balcony, right? Let's check this out. So on the ceiling, we have cedar or pine. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. They got black pot lights. Um, as if there wasn't already enough light coming into this area. They got a skylight in the middle, which allows even more light to come into here. And this is where you hang out before going to bed. So now let's go back into this room. And also one more thing I want to bring to your attention is these wall sconces on both sides of the master bedroom. If you want to design your master bedroom properly, uh, then I think that that's a must. You got to have that. And then up above, we got the drop ceiling. So down this way, we have a barn door, which separates your closet from the master bedroom and a good sized closet. So we got some open shelves, hangers, we got some drawers right here. And then it continues down this way, more open shelves. So a nice big closet for him and her. So down this way, we got a nice big, 
master washroom. And I like that the builder thoughtfully placed this window right here. This is frosted glass, so nobody could see into this area. A beautiful light fixture, a freestanding soaker tub. It looks like it's super high end, very expensive. And the design on the floor is actually a herringbone pattern. Pretty sweet. Over this way, we have the toilet room right behind there. And then whenever you see this, this is a heated towel rack. It's pretty cool. So right here, we have the body jets in the shower. A nice big sh rain shower head. The niche, and then you gotta have the hand shower as well. I think people use this to clean the shower. Okay, so this way we got a his and her vanity, Kohler sinks, beautiful choice of the countertop. And in this room, they decided to go a little bit of a different style with the, with the knobs. Uh, it it kind of looks like it's crystals, but it's actually just plastic, but it's, it, it complements the whole area very well. And then lights on top of the mirror. And then I really like the frame as well around the mirror because it complements the, the countertop very well. Okay, so that wraps up the tour for this floor. Now let's go to the backyard. Follow me. Welcome to your backyard. This is the frosted glass that allows you into your backyard patio area. So this is an awesome area to just lounge out and hang out. I like that we have a nice big fireplace right here. Perfect for the BC uh, cold winter days. And then we have an outside kitchen pretty much over here. We got some space over here to do some cooking. And on this side, we have the Napoleon barbecue, which is built in. We got some storage below and storage below on that side as well. Uh, and then just some more granite, which is right over here and here. And then you just got some space to do some cooking here as well. I like that the builder made these frosted because there is a house right over there and this is perfect. So they can't see into the house. You can't really see uh, out either. And what I would personally do is over here, I would put some shades right here. And then you got complete privacy. You just bring them down. You could get the automatic ones or you could get the ones with the hand. And then on this side as well, I would have some shades. So that pretty much creates the privacy for this area. You don't really need to do anything on this side because you got mature landscaping. No one can see into that yard. That person can't see into this yard, which is great. And then this fireplace is finished with this cultured uh, stone. Actually, it might be man-made um, stone. And then we got the pavers on the ground over here. And that just leads to the bar area, which we saw inside before. And this is a nice big uh, yard for whatever you would like to do. And that sums up the tour for the backyard. Now let's go to the front of the property where I'm going to conclude. Thank you once again to Harry Shaw of Remax City Realty. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell us what you liked most about this amazing home. See you in the next video.